All right, so really quickly, let me show you how you make this juice. This is the first juice. It's gonna be a darker red color, but it's the veg juice, all right? So I got my gallon of water. I got this handy syringe that goes up to 20 milliliters. But you could see I didn't fill this up all the way to the top. I left some space so that I could start adding the nutrients. First on my list is 22 milliliters of silica. All right, make sure you shake it and you're gonna rinse these in between. I got a bucket on the side over there. All right, 22 is almost all of it. Let's see, that's around 22. Doesn't have to be perfect, but I usually don't go more than one milliliter off. All right, put that in. This silica is great because it's water soluble. Most silicas take a while for it to dissolve, but this one almost immediately dissolves. But I give it a good shake anyway, All right? And once you're done with that, set that aside. All right, next up, Flora Micro. Follow this chart from top down. Again, make sure you rinse out. And this we're doing 40 up. That's why it gets red. So that's gonna be almost two full syringe worths. All right, that's about 21 right there. Uh, so after this, we gotta do 19. So you take that and watch. All right, I like to dry this up even if it's the same one, because you don't want anything going back in there. All right, so I swing it, and then now it's 19 more that we need to add. So that's right around there. And this is why this juice is completely red. This one you might want to shake a lot, because it has calcium in it. All right, next up is gonna be Dynagro. Now this has almost everything in it. It's like half a tube. Slightly more, cause there's a air pocket in there. Back to rinsing. Sixteen milliliters of flora bloom. It's about three quarters of a tube. Um, got a little more than necessary. But that's okay. And then diamond nectar. This is humic acid. This helps uptake nutrients more. All right, and it's optional, you don't need it. But I like to put it in, especially in bloom, not so much at veg, it doesn't really matter. All right, last, I like to add just a tad bit. And that's just to kill anything that might grow in there. It's about two milliliters worth. All right, so when all said and done, you could test the PPM. I have this mathematically calculated to be around 3,700. 4,000. 
all right so right there if you're using tap it's probably going to be more because whatever your tap is let's say my tap was 200 and my starting water it would be 4010 instead so always factor in your tap is going to be subtracted from the total so it might throw things a little off but that's it store these juices in a cool dark place